Hi, welcome back. Thank you so much for clicking that thumbnail over here at Pippin Lop View. I really and truly do appreciate it. Thank you again. I want to say welcome. You new viewers, you returning viewers, and you subscribers, thank you again so much. I definitely cannot do this without you. And so I want to say thank you one more time for liking, for sharing, for commenting. I appreciate it. It's definitely a dialogue over here, not a monologue. I really and truly love talking to you all about this and definitely getting your take on it. Do you agree? Do you disagree? You know, what do you think? <laughs> anyway, we're over here in the year 1998 and we are talking about the Soul Train Music Awards, right? Categories. And, you know, just my way of just, you know, talking more about <laughs> my favorite R&B divas, you know, and why not talk about, you know, them in their creativity? And we do that by talking about their albums. And of course their music. Now that I'm looking at this, yeah. huh. this here is um, best R&B album, of course, female. And as I said, as I'm looking at this, I'm just not really like, I'm not excited. You know, that's the first thing that comes to my mind. I'm definitely not excited. You guys already know how I feel about R&B divas of the 1990s. <laughs> and of course, Janet Jackson, you know, is an R&B diva, an R&B diva of the 1980s. However, you also know how I feel about my R&B divas who are going into the 1990s and what that looks like. You know, I definitely follow them. I'm definitely very supportive of them. But when it comes to Janet Jackson, and now that I'm looking at her in this particular category with Erica Badu at the top left-hand corner, Mary J. Blige at the bottom left-hand corner, and then you have Little Kim, who's between Mary J. Blige and Janet Jackson, I, I'm just not thrilled, you know? And this could definitely be a year in which Janet Jackson's career is kind of like, well, it's taking a nosedive, right? I'm not quite sure. Where did she have that Super Bowl fiasco? Was it around this time? You know, I can't quite remember because it was all over the place. No, she hadn't had it yet. Because this is 1998. And that fiasco occurred in the 2000s, didn't it? So even before the Super Bowl thing happened, you know, I'm just no longer interested in Janet Jackson, musically that is. And it's also surprising to see that in this category in 1998, the Jackson's clout alone, just having the Jackson name alone, it was just not enough for her to win in this category. And Erica Badu come out, comes out as the winner uh, of, you know, best R&B album. I'm not even quite sure if Janet Jackson wins any awards uh, that year. And you guys already know how I feel about Erica Badu, especially when she first came out. I just was not feeling Erica Badu. I, I wasn't. It took me a minute to get into her. But now once I did, I was hooked. What I, I was hooked. And I think for me, uh, I started to like Erica Badu when she released the uh, single Next Lifetime. That's when I, I, I was like, oh, oh, okay, I got this now. I'm hooked. Like, we, we, we good. Next Lifetime. The same way with Jill Scott when she released uh, The Way. I was like, oh, 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 it is what it is. You got me. You got me. <laughs> you know, I'm hooked. <laughs> 
you know, on her. And, you know, there's no way around it. <laughs> you know, that's how I felt, you know, about them. So it was a slow move for me. Now, I'm pretty sure with everyone else, you know, Erica Badu probably, you know, hit for them like immediately, but not for me. Oh, no, not for me. Not, not, uh -uh. And it took me a minute to still get in to her, but I definitely liked her with Next Lifetime. And well, I guess we're talking about Janet Jackson and Erica Badu. I guess the category belongs to them, right? The flagship in this category is them. Uh, not even Mary J. Blige, you know, uh, was able to pull one off. But now that I think about it, it's interesting. It's interesting, this category, now that I think about it, when it comes to album sales. See, that's what I'm saying. There was no standout. There was no standout. These was not standout records that year. And Mary J. Blige, Janet Jackson, and Erica Badu, neither one of them really and truly outsold the other one that year as far as album sales was concerned. Wow. Now that I think about it, this might be just a very short video. You know, one of my first. Because I, by this time, I'm not purchasing any of Mary J. Blige's music. Uh, come share my world. Uh, even though I like the, uh, what I call it, Come Share My World. The album is titled Share My World. I wasn't feeling it. Like I, I, I definitely like "Love Is All We Need." When she, when that first came out, and I think that was the first record single, right? "Love Is All We Need" was the first single, and then you got "I Can Love You." Seven days. Oh my gosh, I dislike that song. It's just never mind. I'm gonna keep my comment to myself about that song. But I didn't like Seven Days." And yeah, 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 yeah. I keep my comment. I, I, I just yeah, I'm keep my comment. No, I'm going to have to say it was a no for me. I can, I can kind of get why. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm sorry, you guys. <laughs> we don't even have to talk about the Mary J. Blige album "Share My World." I'm just not going to do it. And Little Kim, is she worth talking about? <laughs> <sighs> it's not that I don't like rap. I, I don't want to say that at all. It's not that I don't like rap. Rap is just not my favorite genre of music. It definitely isn't. And... I probably would like Lil Kim more, her music more, if she had hooks. Like, I give you a prime example. Like, let's say Nate Dogg for an ex uh, example. Like, when it came to Nate Dogg, he helped me <laughs> to like a lot of rap because he was a singer who sung the hooks on those songs and. I, I like that. I, I like the fact that they incorporated that style. You know, when it came to rap songs, that got a person like me interested in, you know, the songs. The same way with, let's just say Biggie, you know, I liked More Money, More Problems because I like the hook in More Money, More Problems. You understand what I'm saying? So I think that's the reason why I didn't care too much for Lil, Lil Kim's music. It was because there was not a lot of hooks involved uh, that caught my attention to make me want to go like, oh yeah, I like this particular artist 
And sure, I can follow them, but not dissing Little Kim at all. Congratulations, Little Kim, for being nominated in this category, you know. But yeah, that's nothing really to talk about in this category for me. And if I'm not mistaken, I think when it came down to Janet Jackson's album, and somebody, you know, let me know if, you know, if I need to be corrected, but I think they really, you know, tried to you know, extend the life of this album, uh, so to speak, especially when it came to the singles, right? If I'm not mistaken, I think I'm thinking of the song uh, Lonely, I Get So Lonely. Like they had to, you know, uh, remix it in order for it to, you know, <laughs> pop because it wasn't happening. Just thought about something. Where is that Janet Jackson song? What album? Is this the album that has a song on there anytime, any place? What? What album is that for Janet Jackson? Was it the album before this one? I don't know, but anyway, I, I don't, I don't know. Don't, don't make me lie. <laughs> Let me see. I want to make sure y'all know how I am when I try to figure out something. I have to stop for a minute, and check and see what album is that on? Anytime, any place. Oh, it was on the nineteen ninety three album. I thought so. Yeah. But anyway, so I'm not just not necessarily interested in this category. Erica Badu wins. I'm not upset about her winning over Janet Jackson. And when I think about the music, the music itself, the music itself, like I'm talking about the album music. I like more Mary J. Blige's music than I do on the on the Share My Word album than I do on the other album. So for me, you know, I think that Mary J. Blige should have won in this category. If we're actually talking about, you know, who had the better album, I think Mary J. Blige had a better album. <laughs> wow, I don't believe I'm saying that. <laughs> but I think, yeah, Mary J. Blige should have won in this category. Definitely. She had better singles to me, which then makes her have a better album. I don't know. Tell me what you think. Do you think I'm wrong by saying it should have been Mary J. Blige's, you know, Soul Train Music Award? You know, it is what it is. Well, over here at Pepe Love View, we definitely believe in putting our behind where our heart desires to be. And I also remember whenever I leave my mother, mother's presence, she says to me, baby, remember, I love you, but God loves you best. And I'm looking forward to seeing you next video. Until then, you all take care of yourselves out there. <laughs>